Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. To make your Costco shopping experience even more magical, here are 10 Costco wholesale secrets only regulars know about. Listen for the bell. Ring, ring, ring with the bell! Costco Wholesale gets a lot of things right, but if there's one particular thing that seems to stand out from the crowd, it's the rotisserie chicken. For the mere price of $4.99, you get to enjoy a delicious and juicy cooked chicken. If that's not a steal, then what is? But while the chicken at Costco is always a win, believe it or not, there is a way to ensure you get the best one every single time. All you have to do is wait for the bell to ring. That's it. Ring the bell. Trust us, if you're ever casually strolling down the aisles at Costco and you suddenly hear a bell ring, drop everything you're doing and head to the rotisserie chicken station ASAP. The bell means that a new, fresh batch of chickens has just been put out, and you need to hurry before they're all gone. Because these are known to sell out pretty fast, and for good reason, you should waste no time before making your way to the back of the store. Obviously, it's not everyone who knows knows the secret code, so you might be able to beat out all the newbies and grab a precious chicken, but no risks should be taken. You might hear it once or twice during your trip, so if you missed your chance the first time, don't worry, there's always a second round, and a third, depending on how long you plan on staying in the store. Next time you hear the bell toll, do yourself a favor and make a beeline to the chicken counter you can get ready for the apocalypse. Funny story, kids. It's the end of the world! Picture this, it's the end of the world, everything is in ruin, and you can't find food anywhere. But you don't care. Why not? Because you're a Costco regular and you knew exactly how to properly prepare for this dreadful day. Indeed, if you want to be ready for anything from a hurricane to a full-on inevitable zombie apocalypse, you can head over to Costco and get your hands on the ultimate survival kit. With prices ranging from $1,000 to $6,000, the survival kit are designed to feed families of four people for up to a year and contain all the necessities. Things like freeze-dried vegetables, instant milk, dehydrated fruits, potatoes, beef and chicken, and other grains and proteins all have a shelf life of up to 30 years, which means you can safely keep them in your house for a very long time. Eight-day supply of food and water, a crossbow. The cheapest kit contains 96 cans, enough to feed one person for a year on a diet of 1,200 calories a day, while the most expensive kit contains 600 cans, which is enough to feed four people for 12 months on a daily diet of 2,000 calories. And with the year we just had, it probably wouldn't hurt to have some extra essentials lying around the house. The price tags hide wonders. Full price for gum. That dog won't hunt, Monsignor. You can't say that you're a Costco regular unless you know about the secrets the price tags hide. Even though they might look completely mundane at first glance, don't be fooled, there's a lot to learn in order to shop smarter and save some money. First things first, you need to pay attention to the last number shown on the price tags. If you see the standard .99, you can move along, but if you see a 9 and a 7, you know you just landed on a deal. Crazy. What a deal. These two numbers signify that the item has been marked down, usually because it did not sell and needs to be cleared out. Since Costco isn't like every other retailer, they won't directly tell you that the item is about to be cleared out by showing the original price with a slash. No, instead, they stick to their own language and leave the customers to figure it out on their own. Now, if the price ends in 4979 and 89, it's a sign that it's another good item you should put in your cart. It means that Costco got a special deal from the manufacturer and is sharing it with the rest of us. As for 88, or zero, 00 endings, they're usually display, returned, or end of inventory items. And last but not least, if you see a tiny asterisk in the corner, you should stock up while you can, since it means the item is no longer in stock and could even be discontinued. Use the secret word. I cracked the code. 
first, it was the mysterious, whimsical sound of the bell announcing the arrival of freshly cooked rotisserie chicken. And now, it's the super top secret word that could score you some major savings at the meat department. To make your barbecues even more special and treat all of your friends and family to some delicious meat, all you need to say is chub. Yes, it might sound a little silly to say that out loud to your butcher, but it'll be worth it. A Costco employee on Reddit revealed the secret by explaining the difference between the expensive and the marked down pieces of meat. Costco sells the regular ground beef for $3.49 per pound, which is made by grinding packed tubes of meat called chubs with fat trimmings taken from steaks, bringing the beef to a 12% fat content. But to save on some fat and some money, you can go with the pre-processed chub, which only has around 5 to 8% fat and costs $2.99 a pound. Beef stick. Beef stick. So next time you're at Costco, request the 10-pound chubs and you won't be disappointed. You can return anything. I'm returning this kitten calendar. Usually, when a company says you can return anything, there's always some kind of catch or fine print you didn't read properly. Like, you can't return it if the packaging is damaged and things like that. At Costco, however, when they say you can return everything, they mean everything, anytime, anywhere. Anytime, anywhere. You wanted to try a new jam flavor, but you didn't like it? Opened or not, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is come back with the jar and you'll be good to go. You bought a chair six years ago and you changed your mind? Bring it back. You lost your receipt? Don't sweat it, you don't need it. Yes, having your receipt or original packaging can help make things easier, but they're not necessary for your return. That's because Costco can track your purchases through your membership account. The generous return policy even allowed a woman to return her dead Christmas tree. So really, don't be shy and take full advantage of it. The only thing to look out for is the possibility of over-returning. Just like with any privilege, it can be revoked. While there's no hard and fast number of returns that will make you lose your membership, if you abuse it, you might find out. Negotiation is a thing. Dormammu. I've come to bargain. When you want a bargain, you probably don't think of Costco as your first destination. Fair enough, a large retail store doesn't seem like the most lenient place, and yet you'd be surprised at how much you can accomplish if you just put your mind to it. For example, if you happen to buy something right before it hit the clearance section, don't worry, Costco will be happy to refund you the difference for any product within 30 days of the purchase. Yes, I need a milk refund. And the best part is, you don't even need to to go all the way back to the store. All you need to do is make a request with an online form and voila. If you're not a Costco member and you still want to benefit from the store's crazy low prices, there is also a little something for you. While a lot of retail stores offer a price match policy, Costco sadly hasn't jumped on the bandwagon yet. However, other competitors like Target, Best Buy, and Home Depot have, and there's a very easy way to take full advantage of it. To get all the best offers possible, just roam Costco's website and look for deals that you want, print them out, bring them to your local store, and ask for a price match. It's as easy as that. The cashier will be more than happy to lower their prices to match Costco and get you your favorite items for the same price members are paying. Weekdays, your new best friend. What's with the uh, weekday vibe? Again, there are some basic things you should know before claiming to know everything about Costco, like when to go and when to stay home. It's no surprise that stores in general are more crowded during the weekend, but at Costco, it's a whole other level. Unless absolutely necessary, you should avoid going to munch on the free samples on the weekends. It might be the most convenient time, but in retrospect, you'll be glad you stayed home. Take our word on it. 
technically going any other day besides Saturday or Sunday would be wise, as it'll be less busy and easier to get your hands on those good deals. But if you truly want to shop like a pro, there's a little more advice you should take. For instance, going midweek and mid-afternoon is the smartest and safest choice to ensure a smooth and peaceful trip. According to many Costco regulars, the best time to shop at Costco is between Tuesday and Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. because any other time is simply madness. Madness! All is madness! Mondays are usually meant to catch up after the weekend and restock for the week, while Fridays are all about preparing and loading up for the weekend. As for the hour, around lunchtime means tons of people sneaking in to enjoy a meal, and anywhere after 5 p.m. puts you in the after work, stop on my way home crowd. Basically, to avoid unnecessary stress, just choose Choose your shopping time wisely. There's a wedding registry. A wedding! If Costco holds a special place in your heart and you want to keep honoring it even on your wedding day, you might want to pay extra attention to this next secret. Thanks to Costco's wedding registry program, you can not only save a lot of time for your guests, but also a pretty penny. You can register for an array of popular and sought-after items like high-end furniture to electronics to regular basic everyday flatware. No matter what you want, just add it to your list and let your guests treat you. And with prices so low, it makes things even easier. The best part about registering with Costco? You don't need to pay a membership fee. That way, you and your guests can have peace of mind when going down the aisle. And if you don't need any household items, just set up a fund and your guests can give cash through PayPal ranging from $1 to $1,000 with no transaction limit. The wedding program also offers food, flowers, invitations, and rings. Basically, all all of the essentials for your big day. You can even book your honeymoon, only if you're a member, however. Lastly, Costco also offers a baby registry, which makes it easy for friends and family to order everything you might need for the new edition. It's much more than a warehouse. The warehouse. The warehouse. Costco Wholesale might be primarily a place to get your groceries, electronics, and occasional hot dog, but in reality, it's so much more than what most people believe. People who shop at Costco regularly know that the warehouse has so much to offer, like a bunch of seemingly random services you probably didn't even know about. For instance, if you're looking to plan your next trip, the retail store has Costco Travel, a discount travel site that will help you find exclusive deals on everything from flights to cruise cruises to rental cars, and it usually ends up being less expensive than booking directly with the airlines or hotels. But cheap trips aren't the only thing you can get from Costco. You can also get exclusive access to home and auto insurance at discounted rates with Ameriprise. To save a few extra bucks every month, all you need to do is be a Costco member, and there you go. So that's all it takes. Finally, for the grand finale, Costco can also double as a medical facility. Well, sort of. You can get your annual eye exam there, take advantage of the cheapest generic medicine compared to other big box stores, and receive a free hearing exam at the Hearing Aid Center. These services require no membership and can be enjoyed by everyone. Always go for the generic brand. I think this is the generic. Most of the time when shopping at the local grocery store, people will tend to go for the brand name. Whether it's because it looks better on the shelves or simply because it's the first one they see, brand names are a customer favorite, unless there's a huge deal you can't refuse. If, on the other hand, you're shopping at Costco, the huge deals on the generic brands is never ending. Every regular Costco shopper knows that the in-house brand, Kirkland, is the best option to choose. Kirkland signature products, which are widely known for their quality and affordability, make up over 25% of the chain's sales and are just as reliable as the name brands. Haley, it's Dr. Kirkland from Costco. The beauty of Kirkland is that it uses the exact same manufacturers as the brand name products, meaning they have the same ingredients but are offered at much more affordable prices. Everything from mayonnaise to toilet paper to coffee blends is available for a much lower price without losing any of 
its quality. And sometimes the generic brand will even rank better than their name brand competitors. Basically, by buying a Kirkland product, you are buying the name brand counterpart, only without the hefty price tag that comes with it. What? They're much cheaper! Jump into more great videos. Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.